Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we want to demonstrate tissue sampling. So uh, the setting where you would have tissue sampling is, uh, let's say you've been, you have felt a breast mass and your doctor suggests that you should have a biopsy of your breast mass so that the, the diagnosis can be clarified. And then once we've clarified the diagnosis, then we can move on to the treatment. So DM, why don't you show us what you have for us today? So today I have, I wanted to make sure YouTube would not R-rate our video. So I have used uh, just general food products to mimic women's breasts and women's lesions. Well, I'm going to demonstrate the two most common uh, sampling procedures that we use. The first one is the trocar biopsy, and the second one is the fine needle aspiration. So DM, why don't you explain to us what this equipment is? So this equipment is the equipment that is usually used for a, uh, a tissue sampling and these include both the trocar and the fine needle aspiration. So here I have some local anesthetic which the doctor uses to numb your skin and the, um, the, uh, the path of the needle so that you don't feel pain during mm -hmm. the procedure. I also have a small scalpel which is used to make a small nick in the wound in order to, be, um, to insert the needles. Here, I have a trocar biopsy needle, and I'll show you um, after in a closer look uh, its uh, characteristics. And here, I have the kind of needle and syringe that it is used for a, um, uh, a uh, fine needle aspiration. I also have a small slide onto which the um, product or of the, the biopsy will be put on. In this clip, I want to show you um, what the uh, core needle biopsy looks like. As you can see, this is a needle with a cutting knife inside. As you can see here, I'm going to push it forward. And the inside has a little groove here that when you insert it into the mass and thread the outside over, you can take out a small chunk of the lesion. Now that small chunk allows for a more precise diagnosis of what you have, um, and this is why it's called a core needle biopsy. Now I am going to demonstrate how we do a trocar biopsy. Uh, imagine this is a breast. Now I'm going to do it as we would do it in the office. However, um, remember that most of the time these will be done in uh, radiology under imaging guidance, either ultrasound or mammogram. First step, we're going to use some local anesthetic and we're going to freeze the uh, skin as well as the needle path so that you don't feel pain. So your doctor injects some local anesthetic here and then in the whole path that he or she is going to use to actually do um, the biopsy. Now remember that during this procedure, you should not feel pain. It is uncomfortable, but um, if you do feel pain, you have to tell the doctor in order to add some anesthetic, okay? So once that is done, we have to make a small nick in the skin in order to uh, insert the trocar needle. So to do that, I make a small incision here in the skin. And once that is done, I can use the trocar needle that has a special tip to take core biopsy to actually uh, do the biopsy. Now, I am doing this by manual hand. However, most of the times, um, people will use an automatic gun that allows the needle to come in and out very quickly. So, first thing first, I insert the needle as normal into this, so I can feel the lesion here. The inside comes out and the outside comes over it. And once we remove it, we usually have a small piece. Now in this case, you can see it's the inside piece of, um, in this case, you can see it's the inside of the olive. 
So inside I have some olives stuffed with pepper inside and this red part is the core biopsy that is removed. With this core biopsy, it is being sent, put in a pot and sent to um, pathology for analysis. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the sampling with the trocar and the fine needle aspiration. Um, if you go for a fine needle aspiration, the sampling is slightly smaller. Now again, we will use local anesthetic to actually freeze the skin where the needle path will go. Same thing here. And then once that is done, we're going to use a fine needle to aspirate the lesion. Again, I have another olive here, but you'll see that the, this piece that comes out is slightly smaller. So we insert a needle here, and then your doctor will have to go through it many times, so like that. Once that is done, the material will be put on a slide like this. Here, there are small pieces of olives. Now these are going to be sent to pathology. Now imagine that we have done the local anesthetic already. In this case, I can feel the lesion here. I insert the needle into it and I remove the liquid. Just like that. Now you can see that the lesion is disappearing. So if you had a cyst or an abscess, by doing this, you're also treating it as well as diagnosing it. Well, thank you, Diane. I think that was a great demonstration of the different types of uh, tissue biopsies. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the possible risks and complications of these uh, biopsies? Okay, well the risks are very, very low and they're quite minimal actually. The two main risks are bleeding and a very small risk of infection. Now the bleeding is mostly due to the fact that when we thread the needles in, um, there may be some small uh, blood vessels that are knit uh, during Along that the procedure, way. exactly. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is that those can bleed and cause either a bruise or a hematoma, which is a collection, a blood collection mm -hmm. um, that mimics a mass mm -hmm. sometimes. And I think the reason I want to explain this is that sometimes patients will say after their biopsy, they'll come back and they say that their mass is harder and is and bigger. It's bigger. Right. Exactly. And it's not necessarily because it's bigger. It's sometimes just because it bled a little bit and you have a bit of swelling after mm -hmm. the procedure. Mm -hmm. That being said, if it is something that is expanding... So it continues to grow and doesn't stop to grow after the procedure you should go and see your right. doctor. Just like if there's increased pain, then again, go see your doctor. Yes, but most of the time, um, these will be self-contained yeah. and the body will just reabsorb the blood right. um, you know, naturally. Right. Uh, the other thing is there's a very small risk of infection. Uh, and if you ever feel heat, redness, swelling, uh, do go see your doctor because uh, you may need just like a short course of antibiotics. Absolutely. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I personally found it <laughs> quite entertaining. So if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. Also, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we will see you next time. Bye.